Now in the second case, we are using practically a form field here instead of this p tag. So that is why we are getting back to our project and here into this index.html and specifically within this uh, call sm8 we are going to create all those form fields that we will be needing so again let's get back to google and here we will be typing as bootstrap form field now this is the third link that we will be clicking on there it goes enter email and password so if we now just copy this thing and come back to our project and if we paste it down we can see that this is a required form field that has been created and here for the time being we will be creating this form method as post form method post and we will be creating an id an id of ask questions now if we get back to our project and now if we reload we can see that this is the form field that has been created but still now there is a problem first of all we will be needing to customize this form field but before that we need to create the exact form fields those we want here so we are getting back to our project and here instead of this uh, input type checkbox we won't be needing any input type checkbox here we won't be needing this div either this is the first case checking it working or not yes it is working and in the second case we don't need any input type password here all we are going to do we are going to create a text area and we are naming it as query and instead of this placeholder password all we are going to do we are creating this term enter query now it is practically a container tag text area so we'll be needing to close it here there it goes now if we get back to our project and reload it okay now it is all right this text area is now working along with this enter email and we need to change this level here as password so instead of password all we are now going to do we are going to create there it goes so absolutely no problem with it now let's reload and we can see that everything is in order now all we need to do we need to customize this form field such that it descends down to a decent manner so that is why we will be getting back to custom style sheet.css but first of all we need to create here another class known as query let it be named as query field copy this class name get back to custom style sheet and right beneath this question provide a padding top of 30 bits there it goes it is now descending down or you may use the inbuilt padding that was used over here this 48 pics reload yeah it is okay it is now coming down press ctrl shift m and check whether it is working or not yes it is working now if you want to have this padding here too then it is all right and if you do not want to have this padding here then all you need to do you know the drill you need to customize and you need to introduce that media query right into this position and then you need to diminish this padding thing over here now press ctrl shift m again and get back to the original preview now you know how to create this particular jumbotron we have used inbuilt jumbotron property of bootstrap that means the inbuilt coding property of bootstrap jumbotron is been used over here and on the other hand we have used the bootstrap's own form field over here and in this context you can enter anything here now there won't be any problem so we have designed up to this part we have created this bootstrap jumbotron bottom part and we have created this form field instead of this text field so this is it up to this part of tutorial hope you guys have liked this tutorial if you guys have liked this tutorial then do not hesitate to hit that red subscribe button down below hope to see you guys in our next tutorial till then bye